Hello partners, with the help of my writer and producer Dennis Daly, we're going to look at a very famous man who did what I like to call the greatest magic trip of all. This fella was Harry Blackstone and his son Harry Blackstone Jr. turned out to be as big a star as his dad was. Harry Blackstone was a quiet magician He'd be making huge bouquets of flowers appear or producing dozens of magic wands and the only thing he did was smile. He didn't talk. He just looked happy. Blackstone was an elegant performer. He customarily wore white tie and tails and traveled with large illusions and a sizable cast of uniformed male and female assistants. Well, for a number of years, Blackstone toured the Midwest theater circuit, often performing between movie showings. His best years were the war years. He was an American patriot. He did thousands of free shows during World War II, entertaining the troops. Even though he used major illusions, some of his best remembered tricks were small. One was his vanishing bird cage trick. He'd take a small bird cage in his hand, about the size of a half a loaf of bread. Then he'd invite a dozen or so children from the audience to come up and put their hands around the cage. He'd smile and the bird cage just vanished. His best known trick was a lighted light bulb floating in the air. He sent it out over the audience, passing through a spinning hoop. Wow. Hell, okay, Jimmy, what do these magic tricks have to do with American history and patriotism? I'm glad you ask. Here is, as Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the story. You see, one day Blackstone was doing his performance in a theater in Iowa. In the middle of one of his acts, the theater manager came on stage and handed him a note. Blackstone read it, then smiled broadly like it was great news. Actually, partners, the note read, the building next door is on fire. Blackstone's mind, how powerful. He announced, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told I can perform a trick I've wanted to do all my life. Now this trick is so big, I can't do it in the theater. I gotta go outside. It needs to be done on the street. They looked puzzled at each other, but Blackstone went down into the audience and slowly, quietly led everyone out into the street. He told them to turn around. What they saw then was a burning building spreading to the theater. They had just evacuated. You see, my friends, Harry Blackstone, the greatest magician of the Second World War, saved hundreds of lives without firing a shot. His greatest magic trick was making an entire audience disappear. By the way, on his 100th anniversary of Blackstone's birth, his son, Harry Stone Jr., donated his dad's floating light bulb to the Mistonian Smithsonian, well, I ain't gonna, I'll try it again, Smithsonian Museum. Partners, you know the drill. Look up there at those three boxes at the right. The farthest over there has the red X. Click on it, nothing else, and you'll quickly go back to the report page. Thanks, Dennis, for making my videos so much fun to create. Your digging through the archives to find these famous people for me means so much. Hey guys, I love you very much. Go get them tigers!